turning in the card on Sam Hubbard in the 2018 NFL Draft, where the three of us would pick the Ohio State defensive end. You guys ready to turn in the card? Ready. Let's turn it in. Hey. Wow. <laughs> Who got him? Two. Uh, Indianapolis number 37. So not in the first round for Sam Hubbard. Is there any surprise there that none of us picked him in the first round? I thought maybe one of us would. I know I wasn't going to, but I thought maybe this guy would. I, so why'd you pick him there? Why not first round? Well, I well my thought process on Sam Hubbard being a first rounder was going to be based on how he tested at the combine. He didn't test amazingly, which I think he needed to do to get to get in the first round. By but so that puts him in my mind that fringe first second round kind of guy. And in Indianapolis, they're looking for defensive line help. Um, switching to a 4-3 defense under a new coaching staff. Be be fun to kind of see him paired up with Malik Hooker. You have two, you have one Buckeye at the back end of the defense and another up one lining up on the line of scrimmage. There's a million Buckeyes in Indianapolis yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, we picked him in the same spot. We picked him in the same spot, number 57 to Tennessee, which is a little low. That's back end of the second round. Why did you wait that long? Uh, I mean, partly for like the obvious Ohio State connection. Mike Rabel's a new head coach there. Kerry Combs recruited Sam Hubbard out of Cincinnati, and Kerry Combs is now the quarterbacks coach. For the Titans, obviously Hubbard's on a corner, but that connection was enough for me to pick him. Um, I don't, I don't think he's a first-round talent, but but I do think he is one of the better better athletes in the draft. I, I was reading his three-cone time at the at the combine, which is a good, I think, uh, barometer of athleticism, was the best among the defensive ends. So he does bring, I think, some some good athleticism. He can play, I think, maybe outside linebacker if teams wanted him to. I question a little bit, like I don't know, his mean streak, which I think is, I don't know, kind of an obscure thing, but. I think to be an elite, elite pass rusher, you have to have a little bit of that. And I think Hubbard is, is tremendously gifted, but I don't know if he has that. Yeah, I think I agree with that. Um, he's Mike Mayox, number five edge rusher in this class. It's a premium position. I just There's just a, something that, that I just don't know that teams will say, I've got to get him. I feel like sometimes that happens in the draft that a lot of teams, I think, might have Sam Hubbard on their board. If, if they're looking at five guys at this pick, I think he might be in that five for 30 picks yeah. but every time somebody says well we're in love with that guy we're in love with that guy we're in love with that guy and it's never sam hubbard and all of a sudden he just goes a little bit lower than you thought i don't i just don't know that he's a star i don't know that he's a 10 sack guy in the nfl he's a good athlete he's a smart guy i think he's a good player i just think 57 sounds about right